talk to some people and there's you just have the worst luck with bad. A Fond du Lac woman is struck with a case of deja vu. Good evening, everyone. Her wow. name is Jeannie Giese, who we first got to know a decade ago. That's right. She recently found a dead bat in her dog's kennel, and that bat tested positive for rabies. Now, this isn't her first encounter with the disease. Giese is the first person known to survive rabies without a vaccine. She was infected in 2004 after being scratched by a bat at St. Patrick's Catholic Church in Fond du Lac. Eric Peterson has more on this latest incident. Gina Giese says she noticed the bat when she went to feed her dogs Tuesday morning. There was a shoveled up dead bat in their pen and picked it up with the shovel and I looked at it and I saw teeth marks so right away I'm like okay I have to get this tested make sure. Giese double bagged the bat and took it to her veterinarian who sent it to Madison. State hygiene tests confirmed the bat carried the disease. Giese's mother Ann says it's still hard to believe. We are all kind of flabbergasted I guess because you know it happened once already and then what are the chances of a rabid bat coming into your life again. Honestly I, I thought how many people can say that a rabid bat has affected their lives in a decade two times. Uh, it's crazy. Giese is believed to be the first person to survive rabies without a vaccine. Giese was scratched by an infected bat in 2004. Doctors put her in a medically induced coma until her immune system could overtake the virus. Giese's dogs had their shots, but Gina wasn't taking any chances. She took Maya, Asher, and Shai to the Animal Medical Center for treatment. They have to be up to date on their rabies vaccinations, which all three of my dogs were. But after they have rabies exposure, you need to get them a booster shot. The dogs are back home, but aren't allowed out just yet. The two boys that were in the pen with the bat have to be quarantined um, just to make sure that you know, nothing happened with the vaccines and they're not going to get rabies. It kind of puts a hiccup in it all, but I'm just glad that they're safe and that I caught it. In Fond du Lac, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. It's just unreal. The dogs will be quarantined for 60 days, and Giese says her huskies were going to begin sled dog training in about two weeks. She says that will now have to be pushed back as well.